When I was laid off in 2017, I made the conscious decision to not actively look for a job. There were a ton of good reasons why I should have been looking for a job, namely since I financially support myself, but something just didn't feel right. My gut was telling me to take some time for myself and that the perfect job would come find me. And ultimately, that's exactly what happened. I'm a big believer in trusting your gut. Your gut or your intuition is a sense of knowing something without any logical reasoning, which flies in the face of everything that we've been taught when we were younger, which is to rely on logic and reasoning and not our emotions. We discount intuition because we feel that emotions and feelings somehow aren't as valid as facts and figures. But if you think about it, as much as we'd like to think that we are rational beings, we're really not. We make decisions all the time based on a small amount of information, or we cherry pick the facts that support the choices that we knew we wanted to make all along. Your gut is what tells you when something feels off. When you're in a situation that just doesn't seem right and you get that knot in your stomach or chills down your spine. Or more practically speaking, your intuition is what tells you to bring an umbrella even when the forecast did not call for rain. Your intuition is your subconscious mind recognizing patterns that it's seen over years of experience. So should we always rely on our intuition? Not necessarily. One study showed that in cases of empathy, when you're trying to understand what another person is going through, it's much better to get all of the relevant information rather than relying on just your gut instinct. Also, when it comes to simple decisions such as researching what laundry detergent to buy or what's the fastest route to work, in those instances, relying on facts and figures makes a lot more sense. But I would argue that when it comes to big, complex decisions, such as buying a house or moving to a new city, switching jobs, or taking a big risk at work, it's equally important to rely on both your logic and your intuition. And the key to using your intuition in a way that will serve you best is to first get in touch with what your core values are. Think of your intuition as your internal North Star and make sure that you're solid in the things that are most important to you because your intuition is nudging you into that direction. When I left my job and decided not to find a new one right away, I had done my due diligence and made sure that I had enough funds to cover my basic needs. But I relied on my intuition to guide me the rest of the way. Deep down inside, I knew that this was the right decision for me because it aligned with my core values at the time, which was prioritizing my mental health, spending time with my family and friends, and pursuing my creative passions. Your intuition will not predict the future or guarantee a successful outcome. But if you are clear in your values, then you can feel good about trusting your gut and knowing that whatever decision you make is the perfect one for you.